this exploration of biblical narratives and foundational stories, we delve into the timeless tales woven within the pages of the Bible. From the creation of the world to the dawn of humanity, we journey through the genesis of existence, tracing the origins of mankind, its struggles, and its triumphs. Join us as we unravel the threads of history, encountering iconic figures like Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel, and the profound moments that shaped the course of humanity's spiritual journey. Through these ancient texts, we gain insights into the profound mysteries of faith, morality, and the enduring power of storytelling across generations. Step into this rich tapestry of wisdom and revelation as we embark on a journey through the sacred scriptures of the Bible. True or false, is the Bible the most popular book ever written, by copies sold? True. According to reliable sources, the Bible is the best-selling book of all time, with an estimated 5 billion copies sold and distributed. Please note that these are estimates, and exact numbers can be difficult to determine due to factors such as the passage of time and the existence of many different versions and translations. What is the first book in the Bible? The book of Genesis is the initial book in the Bible. The term, Genesis, translates to, beginning, or origin. The book commences with the well-known phrase, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It encompasses renowned narratives such as Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel, Noah and his ark, Abraham and Isaac, and Joseph, the well-dressed dreamer. Essentially, Genesis provides an account of the world's creation, early human history, and the inception of the Jewish people. How many days did God take to create the world? In the book of Genesis from the Bible, it is stated that the world was created by God in a span of six days. Here's a brief summary of the creation process. On the first day, light was created. The second day saw the creation of the atmosphere or firmament. Dry ground and plants were created on the third day. The fourth day led to the creation of the sun, moon, and stars. Birds and sea creatures were created on the fifth day. The sixth day involved the creation of land animals and humans. Following the six days of creation, God rested on the seventh day. Who was the first man? Adam is identified as the inaugural human being in the book of Genesis of the Bible. Created by God from the earth, Adam initially existed in solitude. He is regarded as the progenitor of all humans. Adam's initial existence was devoid of childhood, parents, family, or friends. It is believed that God, observing Adam's solitude, created a companion for him, Eve. Adam is also recognized as the first steward of the earth. He was granted the Garden of Eden and was allowed to name the animals, thus making him the first zoologist. The paradise was his to enjoy, but he also bore the responsibility of its care. Adam would have imparted God's rules of the garden to Eve. She would have been aware of the prohibition to eat the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. When Satan tempted her, Eve was deceived. Then Eve offered the fruit to Adam, and the fate of the world rested on his shoulders. As they consumed the fruit, in that single act of rebellion, mankind's independence and disobedience, aka, sin, separated him from God. Who was the first woman? According to the book of Genesis in the Bible, Eve was the first woman, created by God from one of Adam's ribs. Her name, Eve, means life or living in Hebrew, signifying her role as the mother of all living beings. Eve was designed to be Adam's companion, marking her as the inaugural woman, wife, and mother in history. She bore three sons mentioned in the Bible, Cain, Abel, and Seth, as well as other unnamed sons and daughters. Eve is famously associated with the story of the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden. Deceived by the serpent, often interpreted as Satan, she ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, despite God's prohibition. She then offered the fruit to Adam, who also partook. This act of disobedience led to humanity's fall, introducing sin and mortality into the world. 